Major John Ned not on my balcony at almost one in the morning. It is so hot and humid here in Veracruz. I am sweating from the effort of sitting here. Just I'm sweating. So I slept for a couple hours and I've been up for a couple hours. Soon I'll go back again. Uh, I want to make another note. I made several notes yesterday about how my sense of equilibrium and well-being was returning after a couple of shocks to my system being robbed twice in five days. Robbed on the beach by two guys imitating cops, took all my money. And then just Tuesday night, this is Saturday morning, uh, behind the big hotel, Mari Tierra over there, I was using the Wi-Fi between the hotel and the wharf and the street guys who dive for coins off the wharf and hang out back there and I've always regarded as good guys. One guy tried to get me to give him money, I didn't have any and I told him to go away and I saw him eyeing my stuff and I said go away, that's my stuff. Half hour later he came back and as I was reaching for a cigarette to offer him, he grabbed my thousand dollar portable battery for my phone and I did manage to hit him in the forehead as hard as I could with this iPhone. I hope I, I hope taught him a lesson a little bit. He, he did shrink back and, and when I said I was calling the cops they all disappeared and they mostly haven't been there for a couple of days. So those were two traumas, two traumas. Uh, so today I was noticing the sense of well-being returned. The day before I had spent an hour on the beach which is great because beaches are super important to me, but I had been avoiding beaches from being traumatized on a beach. And also the day before yesterday, I spent time in that exact spot behind the hotel with those guys not around and aware that I was desensitizing myself, getting over the trauma. So yesterday I had a bunch of episodes where I said, wow, look at the well-being returning. And one that I didn't mention is I inhabit spiritual places that most people don't. I had a huge spiritual experience four years ago. And one manifestation of that is that after a lifetime of being a heady writer and full of words in my head, I have experiences where my words go away. Just boom. The state of absolute quiet inside. No, I can, I see video looking out. I hear the sounds around me, but there are no sounds in my brain. Essentially nothing. Quiet. It's quite a wonderful state. I tease that the state that the Buddhists spend 30 years on the cushion to get to, I get to after two drags of a cigarette which shut down my brain. And it's, I've had some very big episodes of that where I, my brain stayed quiet for an hour, two hours, longer. And that was returning yesterday, where I'd be looking around going, oh, your brain isn't working. And that was the only thought I would have, was your brain isn't working in a good way. Your brain, that computer part of your mind, which is not the central part of who you are, has just taken a break, went out for a smoke or something. And when that happens, I start to hear two different spiritual sounds. I was on a spiritual path for a while that encourages you to listen for the spiritual sound within. And the one I most typically used to get, and especially since going to the mountains four years ago, my eyes are going to squint at this light. Uh, the one I most typically would get is like a high-pitched hum. And I checked with a friend who's still on that same path and said, is that the spiritual sound? I think it's just the, just the humming of my brain. And he said, yeah, that's what it is. But now I get a deeper drone, deeper, very, and I'll hear both of them at the same time, the high-pitched hum and the deeper drone. And that deeper drone is very soothing very healing. It's clear that I'm tuning into the rhythm of the spheres, the sound of the life force, the sound of the Kundalini energy moving through my body. I don't know. And with it, 
as the as that life force energy moves through me I tend to start rocking my whole body is like a little dance my body is danced by the life force by energy by God or whatever you want to call it and I started this tape because it's happening here yesterday I observed it come back for the first time in a week and I said oh you're coming back to ground coming back to who you truly are coming back to your connection with all life it's coming back it's coming back it's coming back I had another little trauma uh, significant when I got home last night and the key got stuck in the lock everything's cheap in this apartment key got stuck in the lock I could not get in the house and I was hot and tired really looking forward to getting to bed early and it took me an hour of trying this trying that walking around the block looking for the theoretical back entrance to this place finally my landlord showed up and he had trouble too he had trouble too and tried to blame me you did something with that lock from the inside so that that was that stirred me up that was pretty disturbing after feeling so peaceful all day but I slept a couple hours and I've spent a good couple hours here making videos, reviewing videos. The, the muse, the muse is a manifestation of life, spirit, God. The muse says, here, say this. This is interesting. Observe. It's all observing the world out there or observing me and what's going on inside of me and it all involves stepping back from being caught in the middle of it and going to the observer place and it's active but it's so flowing so just expressing what's there that in itself it's healing it's art it's moving out of the quiet to create art a video that might be useful to somebody else in some way or form or even just to me later on so that's that, folks.